Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to play the warm up by Jeremy Kittle. This is the tune that he plays usually before he goes into his boxing reel, which is very popular. Um, but before I play it, I want to let you know there's eight spots as of this date for our uh, Drunken Fiddles retreat to Ireland. So this is a truly musical and magical way to travel. Basically, we take our instruments um, to County Clare, Ireland. We're going to be staying in a very beautiful hotel and we'll be exploring Ireland, but also playing music. We'll have classes during the day and we'll be going out to the pubs and playing alongside um, Irish traditional players. But um, it's just a, a great time. We went last August and even if you aren't one of my in-person students currently, um, but you're interested in some travel this summer in July, um, go to www.drunkenfiddles.com and click on Ireland Retreat and all the information's there. And of course, you can always email me for questions. Okay, so this is the warm up by Jeremy Kittle. And I'm gonna go ahead and play it a couple times. The first time I'll do it up to speed and then I'll, uh, I'll switch the tempo to slower. Also, I wanted to say in the fiddle part, um, at measure four, you can either shift in the third position or you can play an extended four for that note in measure five. So on the repeat, I will do the extension and on the first pass through, I will do the shift. Okay, here we go. This is the faster time. One, two, three, four. <laughs> play it slower and after I play it slower I'll explain the shifting for those of you who are learning third position and want to incorporate it into the tune. I'll also explain how to do the extended four which is a little bit easier if you don't know third. Okay so we'll take it a little bit slower three and four and. <laughs>
Okay, so for those of you who want to practice shifting, I'm at measure four. If you're using the sheet music, if you don't have the sheet music and you'd like it, just send me an email, info at drunkenfiddles.com and I'll send you the PDF. But in measure four, in the fiddle part, we can shift to third position on the dotted quarter note. So third position is basically putting your first finger where your third finger normally goes. So for those of you who have fret tapes, you're gonna be on that third fret tape, fret tape, but you wanna take your thumb with you. So a lot of times I see people trying to do this and they're leaving their thumb behind, which creates this kind of shape. Um, and we want a relaxed, natural hand position. So the way you would practice this is just practicing the note before the shift. So I have a low two, a G on the E string. Then you shift in the space between the bow change. And then I'm gonna come back down and on a down shift, the thumb leads and goes back to its position opposite first finger or sometimes a little bit behind. So we're gonna practice that a few times. Shift. And when you're shifting, it's important to keep your fingers down. So I'm not lifting them up. Your fingers need to measure the distance. So we're using muscle memory. And if you remove your finger from the fingerboard, um, there's no frame of reference. So shifting on my second finger and then my first finger's right behind. When I get to the note, I let go of my second finger. So real slow motion. It's I slid back down on my first finger and then plopped my second finger down. So, um, of course, that's done very quickly. It's not an easy thing to do, so if you've never done it before, I recommend practicing it every day for a timed amount of time, at least two minutes, at least two minutes. It will feel like the longest two minutes of your day. Then once you have that, you can add the next note, which is your second finger, where your fourth finger normally goes, and then, There's your high C played with a very close third finger. It's a half step away from your second finger. So then after you practice that a bunch, come back down, shift. That's your exercise. And in the context of the music, okay. Now, so say you don't want to do all that, we use fourth finger here for the B, the last note in measure four. So I'm still in first position. Measure five, just extend up to that C. Now, I don't like doing fourth finger extensions for my particular hand because I was blessed with a very short pinky on my left hand. Right hand, it's nice and long. Left, short. But I think a lot of fiddle players would just extend up for that. Um, you long pinkied people, 
very jealous. Um, so that's the warm up. And uh, once again, don't forget about looking at the Ireland retreat. You can at least look at it. And then um, if you have questions, send me an email at info at drunkenfiddles.com. Okay, happy practicing and see you in the next one.